In this lesson, you will learn about subtracting integers using a t-chart. T-charts work really well when you have smaller numbers, okay? They don't work so well with larger numbers. And they work when you're maybe a little bit confused about which rule to use, okay? So three minus a negative two. We're gonna show that on a t-chart. We have three positives and we're going to take away two negatives, okay? So I'm going to record my positives and my negatives. This says three positives three positives. So that's what I'm starting with. And I have to take away two negatives. Well, there are no negatives here to take away, are there? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create negatives. I'm going to add zero to this t-chart. And a zero is simply a positive and a negative. So I still have three positives and zero, which is still equal to three. Now, can I take, are there two negatives yet to take away? I only see one negative there. So I'm going to add another zero, a group of zero, which is a positive and a negative. Okay, so I still have three positives plus zero plus zero, still three. I, was, I wanna take away two negatives. I now have these two negatives I can take away. So I'm simply going to take away, take them away, two negatives. And what is left over is my answer. I have one, two, three, four, five positives left over. So my answer is five positives. It's tricky. Let's try another one. Negative two subtract negative four. Okay. So we're going to start with what we what we have to start with negative two. So here's my positive and my negatives. Negative two. I'll record that. Negative two. I want to take away four negatives but there are only two negatives here. So again, I'm going to create some zeros. I'm gonna add zero. That's a positive and a negative. Now I have three I can take away, three negatives, but I don't have four, I need another one. So I'm going to add another zero, a positive and a negative. I still have just two negatives here because negative two and zero and zero is still negative two. But now I have four negatives here that I can take away. So I'm going to group those four negatives and I'm take them away. And whatever is left is my answer. So I have, I see two positives here. So my answer is positive two. And that's the end of our lesson on subtracting integers using a t-chart.